Hello Super Traders and welcome to our weekly wrap up session. In this session, we will go over the last week major events and get ready to the upcoming trading week. Let's begin. Starting with the US market. US stocks continue to decline since last week's European Central Bank announcement they will start a quantitative easing plan by buying 60 billion euros a month of bond buying through September 2016 to revive inflation in the Eurozone. The S&P 500 index declined 13.25 points and its current value is 2043.25. The US dollar continued its climb since the European Central Bank announcement, strengthening mainly versus the euro. The dollar rose 1% during last week's trading week and its current value is 95.33. Last week, major economic events in the New York sessions. The Canadian stocks continued to rise, copying the biggest weekly advance in a month, as the Bank of Canada unexpectedly cut interest rates on January 21, joining a stimulative push with other central banks around the world. Since the Canadian Central Bank announcement, the Canadian dollar is depreciating, the loonie fell 0.45% and its current value is 0.8044. Going over the European market, government bonds rallied around the world, as monetary policy makers in Europe, the UK and Canada assumed more stimulative measures due to the concern that falling prices for oil and other goods creates a growing threat of economic growth. The ECB announcement that buying government bonds at worth of 60 billion euros a month caused a jump in the European stocks. The Euro stocks 50 rose 59.90 points and its current value is 3,382.55. The 19 Asian currency, the Euro, fell versus 27 of its 31 major peers, posted its biggest weekly drop in three years. The Euro fell 1.53% and its current value is 1.1209. In the UK, at last week's MPC official bank rate votes, two of the Bank of England's policymakers pushing for an interest rate increase dropped their call last month in favor of maintaining the interest rate at its current value, as inflation risks are falling below zero in the UK. The FTSE 100 rose 36.20 points and its current value is 6,832.83. The British pound fell 0.2% last week and its current value is 1.3981. Moving forward to the Asian market, Bank of Japan announced last week at its monetary policy meeting on cutting its inflation forecast and keeping its monetary policy easing unchanged. The central bank announcement caused a retreat in the Japanese stocks. The Nikkei 225 fell 1.2% last week and its current value is 17,395. Chinese stocks in Hong Kong climbed to a three years high as an unexpected gains in the manufacturing gauge signaled the world's second large economy is stabilizing. The Shanghai Composite Index rose 8.42 points and its current value is 3,351.76. That was our weekly wrap-up, we are wishing you a good and profitable trading week.